Your name and address for the record, please. Uh, Bernie Cohen, 32 West South Street, Wilkesbury. That parks 287 South Franklin Street, Wilkesbury. We're here to uh, present a proposal for uh, a parking meter permit. I'll put the word. I am the uh, coordinator of the downtown residents, and one of our big concerns is we would like to get down more residents living downtown. We think that's what's going to improve the downtown. Uh, my husband and I love living downtown. We like the urban thing, and we don't think that more people would take advantage of it. Right now, we are proposing this uh, zone for a short, small area that goes from Barnum Street to West River, and from Barnum Street to West River, and from uh, West South Street to West Wall Street. It's about an area about uh, three square blocks. And there are some residents there that are historic houses and they do not have parking because when they were built, they didn't have cars. So we have young professionals that would like to live there, but there's no place, they're all meters in front of it. So we do not want to take money away from the city. We think that the meters should stay. We are looking for a permit that we could purchase that would allow the residents to stay there, you know, park overnight, they can get up and not have to run out and feed the meters at 8 o'clock in the morning. And if they came home early from work and there was a meter a place in front of their house, they could park there. It's not guaranteeing any one meter. Anytime there would be a parade or something, if there were no meters available, they're out of luck. They have to follow all the rules. We sent some information, gave some information to Drew and the Mayor about uh, research that we've done on other cities. And we think that we would, we would like to do something to make living downtown more attractive and to attract professionals, not just young professionals, but maybe, you know, making investors that are coming back down and would like to be able to walk to the movies, to go to a restaurant, to go to the library, I mean, to go to the, walk to the symphony. It is wonderful living downtown, but there's a big side effect when you have to park and you have to be constantly monitoring the meters and have porters available. So we would like to uh, turn this over to Lillian now. Well, we I sent you all something. Yeah. <laughs> we did send uh, the council members a new uh, proposal after we were, um, it was suggested that our permit zone might not fly because of the zoning. We apparently have an S special zoning in our area. Another thing we wondered about was why we have the special zone as, uh, you know, we understood it had to do with Wilkes University, but Wilkes has sprawled. We don't know if it actually uh, falls within S special any longer. There are no commercial uh, properties there any longer except one which is for sale, which has ample parking, and there are no retail businesses in this area that we're talking about. We want to emphasize that we're willing to do the permit parking area, or the meter permit parking. Uh, whichever works best for city council, for the city, so that it's all uh, correct. We don't want you to remove any meters. We want to enhance our area of living. There are a number of properties, as Pat said, that have no parking. If someone wanted to put an apartment or an additional park apartment in these old buildings, which I'll tell you is about one of the best things you can do uh, because they're so expensive to maintain. Um, you know, you can't do it because they're, if people don't want to live somewhere where they can't park their car nearby. Uh, so we're coming to you once again. Um, we're hoping that you will understand our need, uh, what good it does to the city. Uh, this is uh, an area that has uh, fairly high rents. Uh, generally, the people living there are paying the uh, income tax to the city. We think it's a, a, a bit of a, a, a plus plus for the city to help us out here. And uh, that's, uh, that's our request. And we'll, we'll take any questions you might have. But we did have a map which <coughs> we presented last time. But to reiterate, it's West River to Barnum Place. That's a little alley that runs directly behind the federal building and West Ross to uh, West South Street, and the two streets, the three streets that um, fall through there. There aren't meters in every street. Uh, some of them have two-hour limit parkings, some have one-hour limit parking, and then the remainder have meters. So if you have any 
question about a proposal we'd be very happy to answer. Any question about it? Have you canvassed how many people would be interested in the meter permit parking? Well, we have. We, we, we have walked through the neighborhood a number of times. We know most of the people. We're thinking that 24 would probably be max at this time. But we don't know. We can't promise you what would happen in six month period because nobody knows that. But we're thinking about two dozen max. And our proposal was that it would be limited to two permits per, per residence. So it wouldn't be like you have four people living there, they each get one. No. That, that would not be the case. And, and we, we want to pay for these. We want to pay for them. And we, we don't want anything for free. And we're willing to pay a little bit more than the students have to pay because they do have access to parking. Plenty. What do the students pay right now? 125 a semester, we understand. That's yes. their current uh, fee. So that would be four semesters. No, there's only two, two semesters. semesters. Mm -hmm. Three, yeah. So it was 250. So we pay 275. Yeah. We'll pay 250. The the need for parking, street parking, has really uh, been reduced uh, with the purchase that Wilkes did of the uh, parking lot south. Also, they have increased their parking area enormously behind Franklin Street. Uh, if any of you walk around our neighborhood, you, you know that. So uh, where years ago it was really difficult to you know, sneak in and get a meter because the students were there, it's, it's not really quite as uh, difficult because they use the uh, parking lot south and it's probably cheaper than tickets. Okay. So for clarification purposes, um, you're looking at purchasing a permit right. and still and utilizing the meters on the street so when you're not there, people would be able to use those Absolutely. Spots. Absolutely. And if we come back and we were using meter two, three, you know, 23 and it's taken up, well then we have to drive around or we'll have to pull into the parkade or something. So it's not reserved. No, it's there's no reservation. Right, exactly. It's catch as catch can for those people who pay for those meters. So technically you're paying in advance to park. Right exactly. exactly. And and not getting tickets in the morning and without the preferential treatment of having a signed meter for you to everyone that wants to do that. That's anyone in the neighborhood who has well, a car. A and there well, are, somebody put the quarter in the meter. <coughs> there there are, but the car for the, needs to be registered to this in this yes, area. Right. We don't want you to, you know, accept, you know, anybody from Kingston to buy one of these. This would be for people who reside in that area whose cars are registered there. And the cars registered there is another point that you know we'd like to have proof of residence. Uh, with, uh, their cars registered and, and uh, maybe tax statement to show that they are, you know, they have some connection there. We have a variety of activities. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.